Thank you to the realistic free-to-play online game War Thunder for sponsoring this Simple History episode. Messerschmitt Me-262, German jet fighter, World War II. Nazi Germany was a strong supporter of jet technology and developed the first turbojet-powered aircraft called the Heinkel HE-178, which flew in 1939, only days before the German invasion of Poland. The Messerschmitt Me-262 was not the first fighter jet in World War II. This was the Heinkel HE-280, although it would emerge several months before the British Gloucester Meteor. Nevertheless, the Me-262 was an advanced design in the war that signaled the dawning of the jet age. It was sleek in appearance, with swept wings and a powerful armament. Under secret development for several years as Project 1065, before the war had even started, the Me-262 prototype was ready in 1940, with a Junkers Jumo 210 piston engine turning a propeller because of delays in the intended turbojets. The first test flight of the Me-262 V1 was on April 18, 1941. On July 18, 1942, the Me-262, now in its third prototype phase, flew for the first time with turbojets. Its power plant were two Junkers Jumo 004 turbojets. While these were better than the previously tested BMW 003 engines, they had a short operational lifespan of just 20 to 25 hours due to shortages of heat-resistant materials. The jet had a maximum speed of 900 km per hour, or 559 miles per hour, and would be difficult to maneuver for the inexperienced pilots training with this new machine. The Me-262 impressed many, including the famous German air ace Adolf Galland and Adolf Hitler, who insisted that it should be a bomber rather than a fighter. Some of the major variants were the Hunter, nicknamed the Swallow, the Bomber, nicknamed the Stormbird, and an experimental two-seater night fighter. In its bomber role, it was armed with two 250-kilogram bombs, but with no bomb sites, targeting accuracy was difficult. As a fighter, and therefore without the weight of bombs, it was deadly against Allied aircraft. It was armed with four 30-millimeter Mk-108 cannons. The jet could also be fitted with 24 R-4M rockets, which could take down a B-17 bomber with ease. In less than a year of operational service, the Me-262 had proven that it was an effective, innovative weapon against the Allied bombers and their escorts. The jet fighter first saw action in the summer of 1944. In August, the first Me-262, lost to the enemy, was shot down by a P-47 Thunderbolt. The unit JV-44, commanded by General Adolf Galland, saw much success against enemy bombers with a 4 to 1 kill ratio. While it was much faster than the P-51 Mustang, it was less maneuverable, which U.S. pilots took advantage of when the Me-262 was making turns. It would also be vulnerable to enemy aircraft during takeoff and landing on runways. For Germany, the Me-262 came into the war too late. Allied bombing made production difficult, and only 1,433 total Me-262s would be built. After the war, Czechoslovakia also produced and flew their own Me-262s. If the history of the Me-262 excited you, try unlocking it in War Thunder and dominate the skies against all those propeller aircraft. War Thunder is a free-to-play military online game available on PC and PlayStation 4. We play it on PC every now and then as the username Simple History, so you might fight alongside us on the battlefield. The game has a choice of over 1,000 realistic aircraft, tanks, and ships, which you can use to fight in epic battles with tens of thousands of players from all over the world. Use the link in the description below to register and get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus. See you on the battlefield.